It is. One doctor I spoke with here at Marshall Medical South told me that unfortunately she sees people die from this virus every day and she says that they're getting younger. Losing within a week three patients under the age of 40, just very heartbreaking. Of course, I'm going to get emotional talking about this, which uh, I think a lot of people would understand. But it was a very hard week here at the hospital. Dr. Jenna Carpenter has been taking care of the sickest COVID-19 patients here at Marshall Medical South since the start of the pandemic, seeing too many lives lost to this virus. The young man I lost this week was perfectly healthy. He wasn't overweight. He did not have any known medical issues. And that was a tragedy. She said the worst phone call to make is a FaceTime call with a family member before a patient is put on a ventilator. In our heart, we know this is going to be the last time these folks talk to their families. I have had people reach out to me on Facebook and said, you know, FaceTime was the last time I saw my dad or my loved one before getting put on the ventilator. And I just, that's the message I want folks to hear is what we're dealing with now is completely different than December and January. Once you get them on the ventilator, I put my hand on their chest and I've literally just cried. It's very hard. She told me it's taking a toll on the staff. We have cried up there in the ICU. We have held on to one another. We've been emotionally devastated. Carpenter hopes in sharing just a small part of what they are experiencing in hospitals right now, it will be a wake up call for more people to go get the vaccine. Vaccination is the only thing that we have that is showing that it can keep people out of the hospital and keep them alive. Dr. Carpenter also told me that taking care of coronavirus patients is also impacting other patients here at the hospital as well. We know today there are no open ICU beds at either Marshall Medical Center North or South. Reporting live in Marshall County, Sophia Borelli, Way 31 News.